Hello everyone, my name is Eric Yang and I'll be talking to you guys about an HTML5 element called Canvas and how to draw some stuff on your web page. So let's define what a canvas is. Canvas is that big white thing over there that's it's blank um, and some people like to paint on it and that's what a real canvas is. All right. So what's the canvas element? It's sort of the same thing. It's this big white thing on your web page. Um, obviously, you can define how wide and how high it is, but in the end, it's a blank white thing that you paint in. So how do you paint in it? Well, before I tell you how, let's take a look at some things that you can do with this canvas element. You can draw a line in it. You can do something like make a square and color in, make it green. You can use um, some other different functions that I'll explain later to make some smiley faces. And obviously, you can get really complex, but I'll be discussing some pretty simple things you can do. So let's look into now um, making something simple like a line. So what you do is you write a script, OK? And you make um, a variable called canvas, for instance, where you get your canvas element by ID. And then you call a function called get context into it. So that get context will then let you call a bunch of different functions that essentially are different paintbrushes for your canvas. You can think of it like that. So for this line example, we're doing something where we begin the path, which is like get ready to paint. We make a marker. We move to point, uh, 100 pixels um, down and to the right, I believe, from the origin. Um, and you make a line to a different point, and then you stroke. So that's essentially what's going on with this canvas element. Obviously, there are different functions that do different things. But if you can figure out, if you can understand what this is doing, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out how to um, use the different functions uh, that the canvas element uh, has attached to it. So um, moving forward, we, after we make that line, it's, that's great. We can make this box as well. But the real fun part are the animations, so making our, making our drawings move around. That, I think, is one of the biggest uh, takeaways from, that I got from learning how to use this canvas element. Um, so after you make a box, how would you end up animating it? Uh, one way to do that is to make a function where you make the box, you add an insert to the right of it, and you delete from the left of it. So that you're, you're incrementing little by little to the left or to the right, whichever way you want to go. And eventually, you would have to make that a loop and you know, go for as long as you want. Um, most people might initially think about using set interval or set timeout so that it's every 10 milliseconds, every 100 milliseconds or whatever, you run that function so it moves a little bit. Um, but there's this newer thing called request animation frame, which is much better than set interval timeout. And I'll show you, for instance, this is request animation frame. And it has a very smooth animation that moves across the screen. Um, now, the difference between this and set interval, for instance, this, you have, to t you have to worry about how, um, how long the interval is to make it so that to move it to the right speed that you want, so, uh, as opposed to request animation frame, which already takes care of that for you and makes sure that it's very smooth. Also, with set interval, um, there's an issue where if you're a developer and your computer happens to be faster or have a faster network connection than your users, your user's um, animation might end up looking very choppy and very j jumpy because it doesn't take into account their browser speed as opposed to uh, request animation frame, which sort of takes your browser as a reference and it moves, makes sure that the animation will be smooth no matter what. So how do you, oh, excuse me. So now that we have an animation, we know how to draw stuff, we know how to make it animate. Um, what's an example of something that you can do on this canvas uh, element? So this is a fun app. Look at how pretty that is. That's done with the canvas element, on the canvas element. I'll prove it to you. There's, if you take a look at the DOM, that's a canvas. So it is done on the canvas element. And there's a lot, of, a lot of other examples of what you can do on the canvas element, but this is just one of them. So how do you make something like that? Well, let's ask Bob Ross. He says, anybody can put a masterpiece on canvas with just a little bit of practice, a vision in mind, and off you go. Um, so he's basically saying you have to practice. And you know, obviously, that's one way to do it. But I think just it's easier to just use some libraries that use Canvas. <laughs> um, there are a lot of there are actually a lot of libraries that use Canvas Element, and they all do different things. But depending on what you want to do, maybe you want to make a video game, 
or you just want to, maybe you're just more comfortable with using CSS, um, Origami takes care of that. And where it, as it translates CSS into sort of the JavaScript related to Canvas elements. Um, yeah, so in conclusion, a Canvas element really is just an HTML5 element. It's not much to it. Um, the important bits is that are the scripts that are uh, linked to the Canvas element. That's where you really draw. That's your paintbrush, so to speak. Um, and if you do want to animate your drawings, then use request animate frame uh, instead of uh, set interval or set timeout. And finally, don't do it yourself. There are a lot of libraries, so make sure to use those for optimal results. Uh, here are some of the references that I use to learn about this Canvas element. Um, thank you for your time. <laughs>